code. Now the third way, uh, which is perhaps a little more complicated to program, is uh, what I'm going to call uh, graph option one. And what graph option one is going to do is it's going to move the um, the line and the channel to be always on the last uh, relevant bars of the chart. So I'm just going to copy what we've got here and then modify it. And now this, as I say, is going to be uh, graph option number one. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to draw the lines um, as we've uh, done before. And uh, except so we're going to use, uh, in fact, probably uh, be actually a little quicker because we're going to use some of the same functionality that we used in uh, graph option three. So I'm just going to copy that instead rather and uh, put that up here. And this, as I say, is going to be graph option one. And uh, we're going to use our flag uh, again. And uh, we're going to draw the initial lines. And we're going to say flag is equal to 1. But uh, the difference here is we're not going to end here. We're going to now add a else statement. We're going to say else if the uh, flag is equal to 1, uh, then begin. And uh, here we're going to recalculate the standard deviation. Remember that that's based on the uh, the right end of the the line, um, the linear regression line. So we're going to put the information in there again uh, over num bars, and uh, we're now going to relocate just. Uh, lines. I've actually put in a little more uh, commentary in the, uh, the, the the version that you can download. So what I'm going to do, having uh, we know that these lines have been drawn at least once, so what we're going to do now is change the begin and the end of the lines. So for example, the, uh, the center line, we know the center line is the, um, the reference, then we're just going to put in the, uh, the new date that we're going to be doing this and the new time that we're going to be beginning the line and uh, the value which is going to be left which of course we're recalculating every uh, bar and similarly I'm just going to copy that we're going to do uh, we're going to set the end of the line and uh, We're just going to just going to make a few changes here, uh, except this is going to just be uh, the current date, the current time, and the the right value. And then we need to do the same thing for the uh, the lower and upper lines. So what I'm going to do is just copy this and uh, make the necessary uh, adjustments. Copy it twice. And so, uh, except it's going to be the uh, the lower line, the lower line, and that's going to be the upper line, upper line, and uh, the, the dates and times are going to be the same. But we need to um, change the the values a little bit. So, for example, this will be left um, plus num devs down uh, times s dev and um, this one uh, or and uh, <clears throat> the same the same for um, here in fact, I'm just going to copy that let's make it a little a little quicker so the right we're going to have to um, do the num devs down and then similarly here except this is going to be num devs up and here it's going to be num devs up. So that's relocating both uh, sets of lines. And then uh, we need to put in our end statement there. And uh, let's just press F3. And uh, we have a, a verification error. And uh, probably simply uh, misspelled upper line. So try that again F3. 
and uh, just go back to the chart now we've still got this set on three and we just refresh the chart so that's where it is but what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click on analysis techniques and uh, I'm going to change the input from here for graph option one and then uh, what I'm going to do is just let this uh, run for several minutes and what we should see is that at any one time those lines will always be on the um, the latest um, numbers of the chart so uh, I'm just going to leave this running and uh, in a few seconds actually we're probably just going to see a new bar form so let's just uh, wait and see that happen then I'll leave it a little longer and uh, you can see how it goes over time. Okay, you saw a new bar form then, and the uh, the line shifted to um, be applicable to the the last numbers on the chart. So I'll just leave this and uh, come back in a little while, and it should still be on the last uh, several bars of the uh, of the chart. So several uh, minutes have now gone by, and you can see that this uh, channel, the linear regression line, and the upper and lower lines are still on the uh, the last num bars, number of bars at the end of the chart. So um, that is the option one that I described earlier. Anyway, I uh, hope you found this tutorial useful. Again, if you're not part of the uh, markplex.com, M-A-R-K-P-L-E-X.com email list, then uh, please go there and I'll be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials and programs. Thank you very much.